Uh, hi all, I uh, wanted to go through the anatomy and surgical procedure for a distal gastrocnemius recession. Uh, the aim of the procedure is to lengthen the calf muscle, uh, which would be uh, increasing ankle dorsiflexion. The indications for this patient included pain and tension in the calf muscle and the tendo Achilles. Uh, posterior heel pain where the tendo Achilles inserts into the back of the calcaneus and also plantar fasciosis. Uh, now I'll let um, Mohammed, who is an ACPS first stage registrar to go through the anatomy. What we're looking at anatomically is the, um, the gastroc muscle. You've got two heads of the gastroc, one originates on the lateral condyle of the femur, the other one originates on the medial condyle of the femur. Two heads um, merge together to form a channel um, through the middle. Um, do you mind if you're going up on your um, toes for me please? And we're looking at the lowermost portion of the muscle. We can't really see exactly where the midline of the gastroc is, and usually it just comes through to the midline of the lower leg. So it would be around there. Usually, what will happen is you'll have the um, small saphenous vein running um, on the medial side. Um, through the midline, through that canal where the two heads meet. And on the lateral side, you'll have the sural nerve running down through that canal. Um, you can relax, Ahmed. And relax for me, please. And where the, um, the heads finish, um, the tendons start, forming the aponeurosis. Uh, the aponeurosis um, at its most uh, proximal portion is about 15 centimetres up from the heel bone. Um, so we'll mark that section there. And we will go um, and try and estimate whereabouts the belly of the soleus um, finishes. So try and run our finger up. And the belly of the soleus feels like it's round about very, very tight on that medial side. And I'm going to guess it's right around about there. So that's where the, the belly of the soleal muscle finishes. The um, aponeurosis um, is in this through this section here, and the um, the Achilles tendon, um, or the the, ten, the aponeurosis meets the the tendon of the soleus through this section here. Um, and our incision usually will be on the posterior medial side of that midline. Um, so it'll roughly be around this section here. Fantastic. I'll come around now and just have a look. Great. Yeah, perfect. Yep, so we'll make it here. And then we've got, just like how you mentioned, so we've got saphenous coming down here, small saphenous. So we'll make sure we miss that. And then exactly what you said, just lateral to that will be the sural nerve. And they're all superficial. So once we get into that superficial fascia, we'll move them out of the way and then we can um, cut transversely the aponeurosis. Fantastic, thank you. Okay, uh, the patient was placed in a prone position. A three centimeter linear incision was placed longitudinally at the level just below the right gastrocnemius muscle belly, exactly where um, Moe had marked it. The skin incision was placed slightly medial to the midline of the leg uh, to avoid the sural nerve. The subcutaneous tissue was dissected, the sural nerve and the small saphenous vein lie in this layer, uh, however uh, we didn't encounter them. The subcutaneous tissue uh, was then retracted.
We are now down to the deep fascial layer. The thin layer that I'm holding with the pickups is the peritonin. It was freed medially and laterally from the underlying gastrocnemius upon neurosis. The white tissue that you can see now uh, is the aponeurosis itself. I use the pickups to grasp the aponeurosis. The medial and lateral margins were identified and cut transversely with a 15 blade. The ankle was then dorsiflexed, resulting in separation of the aponeurosis to a more lengthened position. The underlying midline RAF, which sits within the soleus muscle belly, was also uh, released, and um, this definitely increased uh, ankle dorsiflexion further. After a good flush with copious amounts of saline, uh, the deep and skin layers were closed. Remember, it's not standard. It's like Uh, guys, thanks for uh, watching. Thank you.